I just received some last minute advice from Todd Nebica. He said to don't swear. I don't I don't know where that comes from. So I've never sworn in my entire life, I promise. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this monumentous occasion for the groundbreaking of UCCU Stadium here at Clyde Field. <laughs> I promise to keep this short. Honestly, the reason is I can't be on the sun too long, so I have a sitting headline and solar panels up there. Up there so I can't stay on the sun for too long. But we, uh, this day marks a new chapter in the story and history of Utah Valley University athletics and our soccer programs. Our women's soccer team has set high standards of excellence, winning five WAC championships over the last nine seasons and making four NCAA tournament appearances, they have not only competed with the highest medals, but also became the first program in UVU NCAA automatic qualifying history in any sport to win an NCAA tournament game where they beat Memphis 1-0. to The men's team has appeared as high as number eight in the, in the national rankings. They've, they've claimed a whack regular season title of their own, and was UVU's first two to earn an at-large bid to the NCAA tournament. Both programs have recently sent student athletes to play in the highest level of American professional soccer, with Georgia Quisera playing in the MLS, and recently Heather Steinbrook signing to play in the NWSL with the Washington Spirit. I think we have some more professionals here with our soccer teams. Led by our amazing coaches and staff, together these programs mirror the spirit of the Riverine, embody its grit, resilience, and unyielding drive for excellence. The construction of UCCU Stadium is not just about building a new facility. It's about acknowledging the accomplishments of our student athletes and providing them with the resources they need to excel on the pitch, in the classroom, in the community, and in life. This stadium, which upon completion will be one of the finest in all of the NCAA, will be a testament to hard work and continued growth of our soccer programs and this mighty university. We will offer our tours a competitive edge and our fans an enhanced experience, fostering a deep connection with a sport that continues to capture the hearts and minds of fans worldwide. It is the world's most popular sport. Just last season during a women's soccer match, we somehow packed this place with 4,000 plus fans. Uh, and this is not an area that fits 4,000 fans. The fire marshal actually came in and we had to send hundreds of people home because we didn't have a seat for them. UCCU Stadium is meeting the need for this community, just like Utah Valley University and Utah Community Credit Union meets the needs of this valley and state. I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to UCCU for their generous contribution. UCCU's support has been instrumental in making this dream a reality. This stadium signifies our shared commitment to the success of student athletes and this broader community. To Brett Van Osdorn and everyone at UCCU, we are profoundly grateful for your partnership and friendship over the years. I often refer to UCCU using the term family because they have been with you the from the beginning, and this commitment keeps us together for multiple decades. Please join me in thanking UCC and for their belief in the mission of UV Blue. Now I have the distinct pleasure of introducing a remarkable student athlete who embodies the spirit of UV Blue soccer. Last season, she scored four goals and added nine assists, playing a pivotal role in moving Utah Valley to a second straight rack regular season championship. Her achievements on and off the pitch are a testament to all the hard work of all of our student athletes. Good afternoon. My name is Ruby Halatic, and I play on the Utah Valley University women's soccer team. I am honored to be speaking to you today, and I'm so excited to be celebrating the groundbreaking of our brand new soccer stadium. It truly is a great day to be a Wolverine. Playing at UU has been such an amazing and rewarding experience. I have only been at UVU for two semesters now, but it instantly became my home. 
Utah and I's soccer is a family and a culture unlike anywhere else. It's a place where each of us are invited to push our limits and to give all that we have on and off the field. When choosing to come to UVU, my decision was not necessarily based on whether we had the latest gear or attention or facilities, because to me, those things are a bonus. My decision to come here was based upon what I knew of UVU and where others had turned me. I came here for the people, for the coaching, for the tradition, and for the trajectory of UVU. On behalf of both programs, staff, and supporters of UVU soccer, we could not be more excited for this new stadium, as it will be a difference maker in the professionalism, prestige, and future of both our men's and women's soccer teams. Anton Valley is already on the map, and it will rightfully be even more. The new UCCU stadium will significantly increase exposure and raise the bar for our soccer programs who already thrive in national attendance rankings. We absolutely love our fans and can't wait for future matches soon with an even better experience in view for both players and fans. The addition of this stadium will allow us to stand out and set a new, higher standard of excellence. Over the years, both our men's and women's teams have consistently been on the rise, and we cannot be more grateful to UCCU for their support to elevate our programs and our university. Yes, both of our teams are really excited for big screens and more seating and new locker rooms, but above all, the stadium provides us something to be very proud of. It will represent the people, the coaching, the tradition, and the family of UVU. It will represent the love that we have for the game, for our school, and for our community. Having a new stadium won't simply be an added bonus. It will also serve as a means of attracting top-tier athletes. I am so optimistic for the, for the opportunities that await future soccer players at UVU, and I so highly believe we are way on our way to being the major soccer hub of Utah. UVU is a special place, and UVU soccer is a program that I am so proud to be a part of. We're all so grateful for our amazing staff, our athletic director, Jared Sumption, and UVU President Tunias for their belief and care that they have for our programs and in making this happen. Again, we thank you, CCU, for their pledge of support to us. On behalf of our men's and women's teams, we pledge to always work our hardest, win lots of games, and make our community proud. Thank you. Well, Jared, I was never told not to swear before I said anything, but I did have a phone executive that worked for us so recently retired within the last year or so and before every board meeting to or before I would stand up and want to speak she'd say down in bowls so, so for all of you UCCU we're here I'll try not to embarrass you uh, on behalf of, of the management and the board of directors of your CCU I want to thank you to Tar Valley University for the opportunity we have to participate in with you in this monumental uh, occasion and in this monumental project. Uh, we received a lot of accolades and, and, and thanks for, for the donations and so on, but it wouldn't be possible for us if we didn't have the partnership with EVU. So through the years, we we greatly appreciated that. And, uh, with, but to benefit uh, our own membership, we, we have uh, 230 ish thousand members, and a lot of those have attended or were are currently attending. UVU, so we see it as a, as a huge part of, of this, this community. We are excited for what the stadium was going to do, not only for the university, but for this community as a whole. Both UVU and UCCU have a commitment to serve the community, and uh, this doing is certainly where uh, 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 now we're going along. I don't know how to say it. I mean, my my. But my heart's a little bit full, to be honest with you. Uh, we, we think this is going to be such a good thing for this value. Uh, we anticipate with excitement the future events the stadium will host. We didn't be on the, uh, the soccer that we will uh, but with the Valley means more wholesome activities, and, and this venue will provide just that. This will be one of the premier soccer studios in all of the countries, especially at the collegiate level. A special thanks to President Jimenez, to to Mount Peterson, Jared Sumption, Clown Laurels, uh, Clark Collins, the attorney, Bob Jarvis, our attorney, and, and then Clark Lurch. Many, many hours putting together this, this contract. Uh, Clark, I don't know if you know this or not. I have a 
I go in somewhere with Rob to come and tell you you would ruin. I don't know if you've looked at this fine print as a contract book. You might want to look at that. He's only 12 now, but give him time. Nah, also, special thanks to, to Richard Hurst and, and, and Jordan Perry, who worked so closely with UVU and, and helped to make to make this happen. And I'm being led forward to cheering on the Wolverines in this stadium as they take Carrizo soccer to a new level. Soccer is so much a part of this, of this valley, and it's becoming even more uh, popular and, and, and important to the, to the youth of this area. We thank you for your aggressive insights uh, in what you do for the students, for the families and the citizens of this valley and beyond. And thank you for the foresight and drive in making this studio a reality. Our lunch uh, on what I was talking with President Tamina is, and, and I've said this this many times, I grew up here, and uh, UVU is, uh, I think, one of the greatest uh, institutions that, is, that has happened in, in West Valley for a long, long time and will, and will continue. Nearly 50,000 students now attend UVU. I think present communities, I think that's the most uh, in, in, in Utah, the largest in Utah, and, and, and what, a, what a wonderful job that the administration has done to, to make UVU what they are. So thank you so much uh, from uh, UCC's perspective. We appreciate the relationship. We appreciate what you do for us, and uh, go Wolverines. Good afternoon. Brett Van Osda, I'm sorry to let you know that the fine print says there's no nepotism. <laughs> also, the men were instructed not to swear, but I wasn't. So I'm just going to say, damn it, we're going to have a great soccer stadium. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, this stadium, I want to say, this is about student success. And you may know, UVU has an enrollment of 44,653 students. I think that our student athletes exemplify the best of the students here at UVU. With a graduation rate last year of 92%, and a cumulative GPA of 3.48. So let's give them a round of applause. The women's soccer team have been WAC champions three times during my tenure. And this past year, we placed Heather Steinbrook, the first player in program history to join the National Women's Soccer League. The Washington Spirit. That's right. Woo! So this is an investment in student success. Um, I also want to say that um, this stadium for me is all about community. And a lot has already been said about community. Some of you may be familiar with the Harvard uh, Happiness Study. It's also called the Longevity Study, which started in 1938. And they followed all these Harvard men and also their descendants to see who ended up happy and who didn't. And the number one, the most important factor by far that they found as a, um, as a factor in happiness is community. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. For UVU itself, more than 80% of our students are from Utah, and three of every four Utah County students who choose to attend a Utah system of higher education institution, three of every four choose UVU. One year after graduation, there's more statistics, we'll hold the applause till we finish with the statistics. One year after graduation, 83% of our alumni are still here. And 10 years after graduation, 77% of our alumni are still here. That's very powerful, that's community. So let's give that a round of applause. Now back to the Harvard and Longevity Study. All of us who are here today, and all the thousands of students, faculty, and staff, and families that are engaged at UVU, we are a community. And the challenge for us as a community 
is to wake up every day never feeling jaded, ever, ever. We wake up every day thinking, I get to play the beautiful sport of soccer if you're a player. I get up every day thinking, no matter how tired I am, and I hate early mornings, I get to work at UVU today. How exciting is that? If you're a professor, you get to teach philosophy that day. It is a critical skill in life as a community as we build one another that we remember never to get jaded. But every day there are dreams to be dreamt, and every day there are high goals to aim for, and every day there is good, solid work to do, to help one another, to elevate. Elevate is another word that we've used. So I'm so happy, I'm so thankful to UCCU, I'm so thankful to my colleagues in the athletic programs and my academic colleagues, I'm so thankful to the events team that put this event together today, I'm so thankful to the student athletes and our coaches, and I just want to end on a very profound quote that I don't even know what it means, but I'll leave this with you to ponder. Listen very, very carefully. Anyone can cook aloo gobi, but few can burn the ball like Beckham. Thank you. <laughs> Go <Go-lovers! laughs> This is going to be so meaningful to our students, not just the soccer players, but the student population that get to come and enjoy this stadium and, and, and watch games and be a part of our campus community. Uh, thank you so much to UCCU. Obviously, uh, without you, this would be impossible. Uh, but also, thanks to President, thanks to our Vice President, thanks to Jared for believing in our sport and believing in our programs and providing this opportunity. Um, there was a movie, The Field of Dreams, and they said, if they build it, uh, if you build it, they will come. And, and I truly believe that that's relevant with this facility. Um, the students are gonna come out to watch. The community is gonna come out to watch. We are gonna continue to attract some of the best players in the country to come and represent our university at the highest level. Um, and, and then obviously also the ability to, with a stadium like this, attract some of the biggest you know, college names in athletics to come here and play in Orem in front of all of you and in front of our community. So thank you um, on behalf of, of myself, but also uh, our women's soccer program. I call Chris and Jared. Um, there's a lot of thanks that need to be sent out there, and um, there's a lot of hard work. We come we, today for this special day, and we get to eat Chef Todd's food here. <laughs> but there was, like Jared said, years and years, and uh, I just can't thank you, President, enough for our, the commitment to our school and to the athletics. Jared, all your hard work to bring, make this happen, and uh, I think since I've been here, um, I've always seen construction, construction, and Jared kind of said that's that's what good universities do. You're always progressing. We're always uh, building something. What's next? And um, this just kind of goes hand in hand with what how the university has been um, since you guys have gotten in charge. And I'm just really thankful and, and grateful to everybody in this room, uh, UCCU. You guys have been just an amazing partner uh, for us here, and, and um, to really see what this can do for not just uh, the soccer programs, but for all the student athletes and the students that are here, um, it's just gonna be something really special that we can all enjoy. And um, yeah, again, I'm just really grateful for, for being here and being part of this, this group in here.